there is only one true religion all right people we are back with another one i should boy the great black one on our kibblin tv um this is a debate in between um christians and african traditionalists on cruise as a Christian, the foundation of our faith is the scripture. Jesus has said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to, through the Father except through me. That shows that the only religion which exists is Christianity, which is not. Um, can traditionalists and Christians see eye to eye? That's an interesting topic. Let's get to it. Let's dissect it. Let's see what the comments section is saying. As an African, this sounds like a normal conversation that aunties and uncles be having on a Friday afternoon in the living room. Funniest thing is they expect young people to not raise their voice. Okay, 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 okay. With that being said, let's get into it. A religious people actually call it but a way of life. Exactly. The first Christians, if you remember, the first Christians were actually called Christians in Antioch because of uh, people saw the way they were behaving. They're like, oh, these people actually look like Christ. They speak like Christ. They act like Christ. They behave like Christ. They show people love. Mm -hmm. And that is where the word Christian, Christians comes in. And that is where Christianity actually comes in. That's false. The word Christian. <laughs> the word Christian did not even come until later on. No, the first Christians did not see Christianity, Christianity as a little thing. Um, and Christ did not come into the picture until like later on down the line. So she has a history wrong. And so that's so many of the Christians and, and Muslims, they don't actually know the history of the religion they're in. Christians comes in and that is where Christianity actually comes in. Even God said, he said, thou shalt not bow to any other God except me. So that means that the author and the creator of everything acknowledge he acknowledged that there are other gods, but there's one true God. No, your book acknowledged that. You're reading a book. <laughs> I think I think what religious people do not understand is that you're reading a book. It's a book. Okay? It has an author. Okay, we know who wrote it. Right? Depending on what um verse or version you're you're reading from. Is it the King James? Is it with the New Testament, whatever it is, is different versions of the Bible with different authors written, written in different times. And let's not forget, Christianity wasn't written, or Christianity didn't didn't come into fruition until I think about what five hundred years, quote unquote, after the death of um, Jesus Christ, who was an imaginary character, right? So. Religious people want to go to, oh, God said this because the book said this. No, the book said that. And we all know there's nothing in nature that writes in words. It's not words in nature. It's frequency. Right? That's the language of nature. It's frequency. It's not, it's not words. So if the creator of all things wanted to talk to humans, I'm pretty sure he would put it through the frequency. He would already um download it in your brain before you're even born just like we do with phones right we program the phones to make calls and act like a mini computer right that's why when you buy it and turn it on it does exactly what its creator intended it to do right it doesn't need the phone doesn't need a book to teach it how to use the phone the book of um, john john one to five i think he said He's the only one God. Yes. He's the only true God. That in the beginning was the word. word yes. And the word was with God. Who is this word? Jesus. The word was Jesus. And the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him. That without him, there was not ever anything made without him. That was why they said before Abraham, I was. Because he has been in the beginning even before the, the world was formed. Can you disagree us? Please step forward. My name is Mazi. Mazi Chukwebuka. We have Mazi. 
Mazi is an adherent and a defendant of the Omenala or Omenani tradition. And um, Christianity is not the only true religion. I represent the Odinala or Odinani religion. That's the Igbo a traditional religion, you understand? And this Igbo traditional religion is like only for Igbos because we are the only ones that practice it and believe Okay, so um, the Igbos, for those of you who don't know, the Igbos are popularly in Nigeria. Um, and I guess this guy here is a fetish, fetish priest. I guess that's what they call it. Um, in English, he's a priest of... Um, he mentioned whatever um, God he serves. So in Africa, there's there are several ethnic groups, or should I say, several cultures. They all they're all based. the 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 basics of all of them are basically the same. It's just this ethnic groups or cultures. Um, I don't want to say tribes. Because apparently, is is not a good word. Um, if you know about it, hey, comment comment in the comment section. Tell me about it. Um, but the Igbos, oh yeah. So I was talking about ethnic cultures. So there's several ethnic cultures, ethnic groups, and within all those ethnic groups and ethnic cultures are they have their own languages, written and orally. Um, they have their own philosophy of life they have if they have their own language that means they're calling the creator a different name and they're calling the creator in their language obviously and their view of the creator will also be different it wouldn't be abrahamic right um but i guess nowadays when you go to africa and you say god they equate it to what their ethnic culture is um because most people on the continent of Africa do not have the history of their culture in totality. They don't have the philosophy of the culture in totality. It has been denigrated um, by the Eurasians and Arabs during um, the transatlantic slave trade and the Arabic slave trade. Um, and within all this time, Allah has been lost um, through translation and, you know, everything that happened in between right so but if you look at african ethnic cultures or groups their 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 um spiritual system is because it's not religious right the ethnic different ethnic all these ethnic groups have their um spiritual systems right but the spiritual system is all based on the father mother and child right so within the spiritual system is not like the abrahamic religion where is god is one and he's a he right if you look at this ethnic cultures in africa their their view of of the creator is feminine energy and masculine energy and all of them right they have statues you know dating all the way back to the comedic times um and so on and forth so forth right so this guy is a fetish priest for his ethnic culture which is the evils right he said omenala i guess that's that's how they they um that's how they call the creator in their language which is omenala right our religion is like only for evils because we're the only ones that practice it and believe in it it's really because we're the only ones that practice. all right i wanted to say I wanted to say this, right? Um, when he says religion, he really means spirituality. Um, nowadays, religion is also being equated to spirituality, which are two different things, right? Religion gives you a premises in, in a book. Spirituality is within nature, right? There's no book for that, right? Um, that's the simplest way I can, I can um, differentiate both. So what he's saying, he's saying... Um, his spiritual system is only for his tribal people or his his um, his his ethnic group, right? It's only for them. This is not like Abrahamic religion where you go around killing people for your God. No, this 
it's just for us. We don't care if you believe it. We believe it. And that's all that matters. After all, after all the word is believe, right? And it works for us, right? So this is what Abrahamic religion has, this, has done to Africans, right? It came and it devoured their spiritual system and inserted itself through blood, lies, corruption, missionary, quote unquote, which is really backstabbing and betrayal, right? Um, so basically what I'm trying to say is the ethnic cultures or the ethnic groups preserve their spiritual system. They, they, don't, they don't even want other people to know about their spiritual system, not talk of going to kill them about it. You know what I'm saying? So you decide which one is humane. The ones that go and kill for their beliefs, quote unquote, that we can substantiate with actual proof or the ones that preserve their beliefs to themselves and actually do not even want to share with the world about their beliefs. If he needs. This religion or this culture has been in existence before Christianity. It started with the ninth, in the ninth century and is only practiced by the Igbos. And we, we worship the and we revere the only true God. That is Chukwu Kikia Biyama. Excuse me, Christianity is the only true way. You said it has been before existence. It has never been before existence. The Bible says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. And he was in the beginning before the word was made. Let's go to creation. How were you made? Chukwu Kikia Biyama created me. No way. We have only one God, the only one creator, who was not created by man, you see, but he created man. Yeah, you see. In eh? his own likeness. Yeah. So you see, one thing about you Christians is that you, you are all over yourselves. Like you're Jesus Christ. He said he is the only way, the truth, and the life. Do you know if I want to talk about myself now, after this show now, if I go outside, I'll go and be telling people that I'm the only one that said everything that everybody accepted. I would like to blow my trumpet. He blew his trumpet and you people are running with it. How can you say you are the only way? That is braggadocious. Is is very that guy is very is arrogant. The life you have, is it yours? You if you can tell me yes, then I agree with and you. My chi and my ancestors gave me life. If we look at the literal definition of what religion is, religion in itself is the belief in a superhuman or a god or gods, right? Even back then, in the days of Moses and the days of Abraham, we acknowledged in the scriptures that they worshipped other gods, which means other religions had always existed, right? So the presence of religions cannot, we cannot, um, we can neglect it. We would, re we would recognize that these things are in existence. The argument around whether one is the truth or one is not is a separate discussion. Do you believe there's only one true religion? Definitely Christianity is the You mean there's a separate disc discussion? That's the actual discussion. Because the topic is, for this segment, there is only one true religion. So why are you guys not talking about that? And also, let me um, warn you, audience, that this debate is a lose-lose because they're debating over beliefs. There's no point in debating over beliefs. The only thing you debate over is facts. So there's a more of a discussion. I wouldn't even call it a debate. The true religion. You can't say that. You yeah, can't. No, 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 no you fine. can't everybody, say everybody that. Everybody has a right to their opinion. You can't say that. I would fault you guys. Um, your rationale. Christianity is not the only religion that says that they are the only true religion. Islam says the same thing. Every other religion says that they are the only one true religion. I, another reason why I will fault your rationale, I mean, for Christians, is that they say, we are the only one true religion. Then you ask them, why do you say we are the only one true religion? They say, see our book. We wrote there that we are the only one true religion. There has to be an objective standard of measurement of why do you think this religion is true. So you need somebody who is a bystander, as someone who is on the outside, who has no bone in the argument, to look at it objectively and say, okay, uh, this is what maybe Islam says, this is what Christianity says, this is what how, the traditional... Do you have an idea of how Islam itself came to be? Uh, yes, of course I do. So what knowledge do you have about Islam coming to be? Of course, be? it started with Muhammad. No, Muhammad. Islam, is, Islam is Islam with Muhammad. Muhammad. So okay, so when did it start? Even, even in the books of Islam... Um, that guy, the traditionalist, made a lot of sense. We need to know objective standards in measuring who has a true religion or who has a true God. But what are you going to use to measure belief? Believe, the definition of a belief is an idea in your head. That's it. That's it. It's an idea in your head. That's it. That's the definition of a belief. That's it. Now, you can strongly believe based on um, other elements, like let's say, 
we believe I was in this room, right? But you come and I'm not in this room, right? There are, there are other things in this room that might help you find out if I was in this room, like my fingerprint, right? So, so those things are called evidence. <laughs> um, there is an acknowledgement mm -hmm. of certain characters yes. that are present in the Christian books, mm -hmm. right? And one of the reasons why you would find a lot of Christians tell you that Christianity is the true religion is because there are evidences, both physically and theoretically, that would backdate even to what you would see on paper. You would go to certain sites in the world today yes. and you will find those things present there. It's the same way people talk about maybe Odudua, for instance, right? So if anybody worships Odudua, they can come and tell you Odudua is the true religion, right? Based on their own belief, because they will say, oh, we have somewhere where this stuff is, even exists, right? So what, I've, what I'm finding difficult to even hear from you guys is the fact that you guys have failed to explain to us why you feel yours is the true religion. Instead, what you've done is just to counter that. <laughs> the Christians are saying the traditionalists haven't provided why their religion, why, why is the true religion. I don't see, I don't know any spiritual, any spiritualist or any traditionalist who ever claim their, 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 their spiritual system is um, the one and only true way. This is only religious people that do that, which is a three Abrahamic religion. They're the only ones that go ahead and kill people for their beliefs. You've never heard of any spiritual person say, I'm going to kill you because you don't believe in my God. That's, that's not a real thing, right? It's, it's not a real thing. So I think <laughs> this question is only for the Christians. It's, it's not for the spiritualists. But it's funny how the Christians want to flip this when the, the traditionalists like, oh, you guys haven't, well, you guys haven't told us um, <laughs> why your spiritual system is the best. Well, the thing is also, well, you Christians haven't told us why your, your, your religion system is the best. You keep referring to a book which cannot be substantiated with no, with no evidence or facts. That's that's not that's not evidence. You're it's rhetoric at this point. You're just vomiting nonsense. You know, no disrespect. What we are saying is wrong. So sorry, 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 case, sorry. So maybe you can sorry, just present your, your, case. Your, your case now is inconclusive. If I should say that, even before the birth of Christ, Jesus, Christ, Jesus Christ, in Israel, the tribe Israel, there is a practice, there is a culture, there is a religion, and I will surprise you to tell you, from the birth of Jesus, the customary tradition to whatever they believe was accustomed to him during his birth. So why religion? The Jewish followed, and he followed it. Before he brought about his idea. So what you're doing now is to butcher no, my no, point, No, no, I'm right? trying to clear you so because that you can get to understand something. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me no, bring no, something I've in. I've not hit, I've not hit the hammer on the, on the net. Just calm down. I'm trying to bring you to this light because, so now you fail to acknowledge that, hey, I came into existence and I went through a system and now profoundly I'm beginning to set something up for myself that will be a movement because I believe it's a movement. It's you, 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 you perfectly. Into it's, it's, it's okay. It's like so this guy with the red gloves, right <laughs> he's making a valid point he's saying well you guys claim your religion the one true religion well jesus christ was born into a culture which was the the hebrew the hebrews right known as the jews today right and within where he was born within that system they had a culture they had a religion they had blah 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 which was the foundation of christianity so this guy is saying quote unquote jesus got his idea of Christianity from the, the Israelites, which is why we, we, we call it the three Abrahamic religion, because all this religion have the same characters, right? They, they're all in a book, and they all never existed. <laughs> none of the characters existed. Moses, whoever, whoever you want to mention, Abraham, none of them existed in actual history. There is no records of them. There are people who have existed way before the time they say this characters in this three Abrahamic religion have um, existed. There are people who existed way prior to them whose evidence of existence has been found. So how come this Abrahamic characters who are, who are um, 
supposed to be the savior of the world how come there is no evidence of them in actual real human life reality history that's only in the three abrahamic books that you see all these characters it's like reading a comic book you only see spider-man in a comic book you don't see spider-man in real life but let um um let somebody who is really into comic tell it spider-man existed it's, it's the same premises for religious people they claim this claim based off of books not actual evidence so in the same books the first book to come out of the three abrahamic religion is the torah well it's not the first but for the average person they know it as the torah right so from the torah jesus was born within the jewish people so they already had a system or an idea of who the creator was and then jesus quote unquote made his own and now we have christianity so that's what this guy is saying you know you can't be the true religion when you copied from the one that existed prior to that you, you got into a system yes. let me say something to you do you know the, this bible we speak about mm -hmm. said in the book of genesis no no no, no. i corrected you on that, that you I'm cannot coming, use coming. the, the bible. bible said okay. that the seed of the woman mm. will bruise the he of the serpent and i believe someone wrote it yeah no, <laughs> someone wrote it, isn't it you know in that bible there were some areas in the bible god was speaking wait Hello? i'm confused isn't this guy no uh, red whatever is supposed to be a christian he is making the point of the traditionalist this this guy with his hands raised to the woman right the traditionalist the young guy with, with his hands raised to the woman on the traditional side he's he's made the point that you can't use your bible as evidence so he tried to point it to her that yo that can't be your evidence because she went automatically to the bible to reference the bible as evidence and he's like no you can't use the bible you, you need a different point of reference and this guy with the red cloth on his um shoulders is supposed to be on her team and he's saying wait whatever you just said didn't somebody write it <laughs> <laughs> Didn't a human being right there? Like, is that, is that supposed to mean something? <laughs> oh, there was some error in the Bible God was speaking. Because the of the Bible that are written in the red virus. And the word of God, oh. can you not tell me that the person has not smoked ganja and started speaking on his own terms? That's fine. That's fine. Because okay. that is the point that we keep making. <laughs> Just because somebody wrote it in a book does not make it real. Auntie. <laughs> This man in the red cloth. <laughs> oh God, you get issues. So, <laughs> are you not supposed to be on her team? He said, "How, how are we not so sure that somebody smoked, <laughs> somebody smoked something and just started writing that?" They say, "Oh yeah, this is the word of God." <laughs> That's a valid point. You can't keep using your quote unquote holy book as a reference. If the equation is one plus one is two, it's not going to be in one book. It's going to be in all books <laughs> and it's going to stay consistent. That's evidence. That's what we need. Not somebody's words. That's haste. Now, what is that um, in court? Um, when you um, use somebody's hearsay, 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 that's hearsay. You, that's not even admissible in court. In court. It's not even admissible in court, and you want to... Okay. What, what you've done, what you've done is to amplify her initial position, okay. right? And what she had said was the fact that the term Christianity in itself okay. wasn't birthed until a point in Antioch, which was even after the death of Jesus Christ. Okay. Which so was the movement. What you need to understand. Which was the movement. Yes. Thank you. So Christianity in itself was fashioned from people who were behaving like Christ. Christ like yes. And what did Christ do in himself? Christ in himself came to give, he said, I didn't come to abolish the light, I came to fulfill it. So what he came oh, to do. See, now you've hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, yourself, hold on. No, no, he has not come to abolish the law. On. And the law has been the cause of. Now Christians are fighting among themselves. This is a regular thing. All Christians, all religious people fight among themselves. But they all claim they're all following the same book. But then they all claim they all have the one true religion. But then they all claim so many claims. 
Oh, oh no. no. They have been the customs. So, so what you're, they have been the system. What you're saying. It has been that from the beginning. Let me explain to you. Let me explain It is written on the word. It's the word. It's the word. It's the word. That's what I'm saying. You thought this word was made. It's coming now. Can I finish? Can I finish my word? And this is what I'm trying to tell you. We all worship the same God, but in different forms. So... So we're through with the first segment, which was there is only one true religion. And um, I already said that segment is this whole thing is about believing. You can't you can't really debate belief. Um, but one point that the, 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 the traditionalist made was we need a structure to measure who has the, the one true religion and the one true God. If we can't have that, we can't even have that conversation. And with that, and also they made the point, the traditionalists made the point that um, you can't sure. keep going back to your book. You need a different point of reference other than your book. If your book is true, it will be true and consistent and everything else, right? And the other point that the Christians made against themselves was, the book was written by somebody um, and the person could have been smoking something and claimed that the creator wrote it. This was, a, <laughs> this was between the Christians. So with this segment, nobody really won. They just made good points. The next segment is we all worship the same God, but in different forms. Okay, let's see if they agree.